Hey everybody, Mary and the Barbarian here, and we are here to test out an edge today. I'm using one of the soaps I was excited to use for the summertime. Uh, Valley of Fire, collaboration between Katie's Bubbles and Talbot Shaving. Uh, cool little side label there, I believe it is, what is it, four ounces? Anyways, scooped off the top. Now, this is Lost Scent. I've had this for a while, and it's Lost Scent. I don't know why I haven't tub loaded from it. You can see it's just been scoops. But this, I'm kind of getting a clay base smell as much as I'm getting the scent strength. So I don't know if it's something about the tightness on this or whatever. But I'm here to tell you, the Mal Tangerine, which is Talbot as well, it's been tub loaded from much older than this Valley of Fire. And it's still banging. And citrus scents, scents do not hang around as long. So now that I've gotten all that out of the way, we are using a Maddie Lindholm with a 24 millimeter uh, Maggard Synthetic Knot. This one is his Oops brush. Um, normally the top has is matching like the bottom, but it broke and he finished it off. And I prefer this one. And when he bored it down to get the loft right, he put some, uh, I guess, whatever points they use over there in Sweden. So, all right, guys, we lathered it up. And, dude, it, it was a butcher job on the lather today, too. Uh, I let it soak, like bloom, for like 15 minutes, and you see clumps. So I smeared it all in the bowl, real thin, all the way out. And then out of nowhere... When I flicked the water out of this and I dumped the water out of the bowl and I just started to whip it up, pieces of the soap just started, I think I just bloomed it too long in the bowl. So user error on that, guys. But I put an edge on a JJ Shorty. Uh, to mention the JJ Shorties, I, I won't be having them anymore. I think they'll be directly at the razor company i just can't help john june out like the razor company could it's much better avenue um everything going on it's hard for me to do that as well so you know the razor company's great jason's great so hopefully everything works out well because i sold a large supply of them to the razor company anyways not many people were hitting me up on the side handful All right. So we did hone this up. I set the bevel on 600 diamond plate. Went to my Superstone 1K, Superstone 2K. Killed the edge. Went to the Superstone 5K. Then the 8K. And then I went to the ILR under running water. But this is the JJ Shorty. It's got some patina built up. I had it sitting with my home stuff and I didn't oil it or anything and it was just sitting in a cabinet. So it's not as shiny as it could have been. Now I do have a pimple over here. And I don't even have 24 hours worth of growth. So with the grain, it's going to be hard to say anything. But we're testing this edge, people. Now, I did tell you the scent, it's not as smooth as I think it should be right off the bat. It's not bad. It's cutting. See that chunk of soap? But, uh, so saying, if you, after I said what I said about it losing scent or whatever, You could, uh, you can still get this, the bundle at West Coast Shaving, for, uh, less than $25. If it's still available, I'll link it below.
I have not shaved my chin area with a straight razor in some time. Got a feeling it's not going to be great, guys. It's just not feeling great. We'll see. Maybe later tonight, tomorrow night. I'll give it another go. A lot of hair still coming off though. So it is cutting. And when I tested it on my arm, it felt Like it was cutting the whole way down the edge. I was double checking. But, who knows? I spent an hour on this. And, it's kind of looking like it was an hour wasted. We're still going to go against the grain with it, see how it goes. But if I don't like it, we may be going to the TRC razor. Maddie, you make it look too damn easy, man. I want you guys home. I try to do the same thing. And it just, I spend time I'm real light, you know, not too hard. It's just, I think getting the touch right is the hardest part. And even though JJ did a lot of work on this shorty, I mean, it's still gold dollar steel. And I don't know, maybe I should be leaning into it a little bit more. Or not leaning into it and just spending way more time on it. Let's put it that way. Trying not to be too rough. Not using half strokes. Using uh, floating X's. So, all right. Oh man, I think the TRC razor is up there. It doesn't feel bad. Just don't know if it's cutting. I shouldn't still be getting that raspiness that many times going over that area. And I've adjusted angle every time. I take that same path to see if maybe it was angle. It doesn't feel horrible. I'm just not getting as close as I need to. With this edge. Definitely needs work. And we'll just go across right here. There we go. I kind of wish this was going to be mouse splash. Because this may feel rough.
There we go. Yeah, we're probably going to do a third pass with the regular razor. Yeah, I'm just done with it. We're not even going to finish because it's starting to feel a little just slightly on the rough side, guys. And when I say slightly, like certain parts of my face can handle it easily, but like this area is not going to. So, yep. Let's just re tackle, re lather up, and just call it a fail. I'll still take a shave the day photo with the uh, straight razor. It's funny. I'll do that, and people will think it's a total straight razor shave. And uh, I'll get less views. And honestly, I don't care about that stuff, but. We all have noticed that there's not a lot of love for a straight razor shaving like there is DE. And it and it's a bigger pain in the butt. And when I say it's a bigger pain in the butt, there is maintenance. You have to get it honed. You have to keep it oiled. You got to strop it. So I get why people don't do it. But it's fun. I just, I need to get, I need to get on my honing game, man. <sighs> this is why I stopped honing. TRC, got the wisdom that's still in there. The whole reason I quit honing last time is because my edges were just too damn rough. I just don't have the knack for it. There we go. Oh yeah. Yeah, the lack of blade feel makes this comfortable shape because I was starting to feel rough in here. And just bringing this razor over, it didn't add any more discomfort. It actually kind of felt better after running the razor across it. Not saying this has like healing properties. Just saying. Feels so much better than my edge felt, man. Which that ain't saying much. Ah, no feedback. So I did finally get that cleaned up. I should probably, I'll go back to bevel set. Ah, no, I'll talk to some people. Because I think. The bevel set. The issue may again be that I didn't spend enough time on the 5K or the 8K or something like that. And maybe you don't... Maybe you don't have to use... Um... Like, once you have a good technique... A lot of residual here, just kind of feeling around. Um, lost track of what I was saying, trying to do some cleanups. What I was saying was maybe, you know, you, when you have the right technique, you don't have to spend as much time on the stones. I don't know. All I know is my edges haven't been coming out right, but this is like my first one in like over six months to try. So we're going to give it another go. We're going to keep, we're going to keep at it and hopefully it gets better. All right, guys, y'all know the drill. I'm going to rinse up and do all that crap and we'll be right back. Alright guys, we're back. Face is feeling a little, little rough here. 
little rough here, little rough here. So, uh, yeah, gonna, it's disappointing to spend that kind of time doing something and it not work out. So I'll either get better at it or I'll just give up and I'll find somebody that can hone for me well. So that's, I think that we're not going to go to that option right away, but if I spend the next couple of months trying to get this right and can't get it. I'm, I'm going to have to say that, uh, I'll call it quits. All right, guys, I don't think there's alcohol in the splash. I think it's actually a toner. Jimmy Choo Man, I say it's kind of fresh and clean. They call it woody aromatic. It, it's very light, great scent. A lot of people are going to love this scent. Um, crowd pleaser. If you're interested, West Coast Shaving, like I said, where else can you get good splash? Well, it doesn't have alcohol. And good soap for $25, less than $25 for both of them. Like I said, if it's still there, I'll link in the description below. We did use the TRC DE razor, the Maddie Lindholm brush. I do love this brush. I need to use it more. It's probably going to get left out on the countertop. And that's going to be like my go-to for quick shaves because I enjoy that brush. It feels good in the hand. And take another look at the soap. And you can tell, guys, like I've, I've been like scraping, not, uh, not tub loading. I may turn this into a tub loader if it's going to be like this. This has been tub loaded. I had this when I was a tub loader. Whew, still strong. So, all right, guys. Going to let you all get out of here. Appreciate you for uh, hanging around this long. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. It's all right with me. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. And maybe this time it will be later in the week when I catch you guys.